Hello there, my name is Peter. I'm the owner and the web developer for company Webeka. Today we're going to be looking at how to set up email delivery for a website that we have built. It's one of the more complex questions uh, and it doesn't have to be that complicated. So I'll show you how we take approach to set up email delivery for our clients. Okay, email delivery is always, um, uh, always has issues, but <clears throat> We found a way how to streamline this process. Uh, let's have a look at this website. This is a website that we have just finished building, uh, King Bros Logistics, and we're going to make sure that the messages that come from the contact forms actually get delivered to our client's email box. To do that, we're going to log in into the backend administration. And we have installed a plugin called WT Mail SMTP. Let's click on it. So this, so this allows us to actually configure everything so the messages do get delivered. Okay, so we first off, uh, we're going to change the from email. It's going to be the client's email, but we're not going to be uh, setting this in Nelson. We're going to be setting it as uh, contact. for atkinslogistics.com okay so this is going to be from email we're going to force it to make sure that it del gets delivered from this uh, specific domain name and that's important I'm going to save changes here okay so this from name will be website contact form and the way that we deliver it is through Mailgun. I found that that to be um, probably the most effective and fast way to uh, deliver messages because uh, previously we used SMTP methodology. SMTP works really great until Google updates their uh, their settings. Then the connection gets lost. Uh, direct connection to Google also really great as long as Google doesn't change anything, but Google keeps changing things. So we don't have time to go back and forth between Google and reestablish connections to all of our uh, systems. Okay, we're going to log in into Mailgun. Under my email address. So we have one centralized account for all of our clients. And I've communicated with a Mailgun about setting up uh, a process this way. And they told me that pretty much all of the web development companies that work with them do exactly the same process. So we're going to be uh, going to sending and domains. We're going to add the domain. In the domain, we're going to specify the new domain name here, Kinspros Logistics like that it's in the United States I'm going to add the domain <clears throat> okay so now what's really important is to add text records we're going to go to one and one that's where we host our domain I'm going to sign in And we're just going to copy this. We click domains and SSL. I'm going to click add domain. Oh, sorry, not add domain. We need to find this domain. Uh, Kings Logistics. There we go. We're going to click DNS. And we're going to add a record. It's going to be a text record. Host name is this, and we're going to copy this value here, just like that. I'm going to click save. It's going to ask us to overwrite something. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, sometimes it asks us to overwrite the text record for the Google verification of the domain. So we usually just overwrite that. 
<coughs> okay, we're going to copy the mail to. Same thing, create one more record. Mail to, and then we're just going to copy this into here. Going to click save. If you have some other hosting, uh, the process is pretty much identical. And then we're going to click verify DNS settings. There we go, it's verified, wonderful. That didn't take long at all. Now we're going to go to my account, PK, and we're going to go to API keys. Over here we're going to look at the API key. Of course, I'm going to disable it so you can see it um, within the video. We add the API key, private API key here, here that we just copied. And we're going to add the domain as well. But make sure that domain name doesn't include the backslash and HTTPS items here, just like that. Click Save Settings. And then we're going to send an email. We're going to do an email test. We can send the email to myself. Send the email. Okay, so the email has been sent successfully. That's really good. We're just going to go to my email and verify that we have received the, the message here. Yeah, great, we have received the message. Okay, so the mail gun has been configured. It, it was fairly straightforward process, but initially it really took me about a day to figure everything out, how to set all of the connections. Now we need to make sure that the messages uh, get delivered to our client, not my mailbox. <clears throat> we're going to go to contact us, we're going to go to settings. We're using Formidable for our form creation. And um, it's a great, great plugin. I'm really happy with it. Uh, but the process is pretty much the same. Um, there is an actions or not notification somewhere and that's where you um, specify where the emails get sent to. Contact form and then we specify the subject contact form from website I think that would be plenty so clients email and then we click update and then we had the second contact us uh, form with contact us ID and then same process here and it's configured um, it took us about how many nine minutes to configure email delivery um, we're really great to use in um, to use this mail gun uh, functionality uh, we can configure uh, email delivery works really great even if uh, Google changes their um, API keys and if Google changes SMTP protocols for some reason um, the connections are there they're solid they get messages delivered to the to it and the users. So this is a small tip, it's an insider tip. Uh, not too many people, not too many developers uh, know exactly how to properly configure uh, email delivery, <clears throat> but we do that, uh, we do that very well. Thanks. Um, if you have any questions, leave us a comment. If you are interested to order a website through us, we'll be happy to fulfill your web development needs. Uh, just simply head on over to our website webbaker.com uh, we do build great websites if you are a web developer <clears throat> I want to give you an overview of a library of scripts uh, this library of scripts allows us to really quickly build really cool elements uh, we use things like this to put together websites this comes with advanced custom fields integration and I have a ton of videos that talk about how we use this library, but basically we can assemble a website in about five hours using this library of scripts. You click expand and you have all of the CSS, HTML and the JSON file, which allows you to quickly and easily import advanced, advanced custom fields uh, forms <clears throat> directly into your website. Really cool functionality really nice um, you can build websites really fast with this it also includes footers so you can have professional footers you can have professional headers 
everything is integrated with advanced custom fields really great sliders so <clears throat> my recommendation if you are a developer head on over to advanced custom fields uh, join advanced custom fields it's just one dollar to try out per month uh, for the first month and then once you are happy with it it's just five dollars a month at this time the price will go up um, in future fairly soon as we get more modules on here okay uh, leave a comment um, please hit the like button it really does help with the algorithm to get my videos uh, through YouTube's um, search engine and uh, leave a comment as simple as hey thanks uh, great content helps a great deal to uh, get this content up on uh, to rank better on YouTube take care bye